I'll do a little tour of my garden. So these here are different bulbs, uh, tulips and stuff that I've planted. I've just cut the tops off just so that the uh, roots and stuff would be more focused um, and give them a better chance to survive. These little purple flowers that I also saved. These are, I can't remember what they're called, but there's like, I know they're grape something or other, so they're all spread out around. Here's one of my biwa trees, or licros, I think it's they're called. There's one, and here's another one. Right here's another one. And I have planted, I've been putting this sand, and actually I've got, I'm gonna. I'm curious if I'm going to get my strawberries to grow. I just sprinkled the strawberries out in here, and I'm gonna keep. And I actually put a little ground cover over them. And uh, there are my basil and tomato plants, and their little greenhouses, letting them grow up. Here's a another cent central area with this is a blackberry, and I don't know what that tree is in English, but it's kind of like a raspberry, a wild raspberry uh, bush. And I've got potatoes actually growing in this area. And I've actually just put all this sand. This is a this is about 20, 30 bags of sand, 20, 20, 20 to 25 bags of sand. And I've actually put lots of seed in here, tree seed, everything. I just throw seeds down and see what grows. So and then I put a little ground soil and also there's lime. You can see the lime that I've put down all over. Coming over here, this is the sunnier side. There's my little scooter. I may ride my scooter. I think I'm going to ride my scooter down. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Save on gas. I'm going to go check on the bees. Blueberries. There's little star flowers. And here's another... Here's another... Um, Biwa tree. This is the smallest one. Right here. And I've got some more. Another one here. And I actually put sand, actually they're, they're really coping really well. I don't see any, um, any um, depression. They're, um, and here's another one. So one, two, three, four, five. And um, there is basil and other stuff growing up through here. Actually, I may have buried them with this sand. <laughs> yeah, it was. I think I did bury my basil. Hopefully it was gonna make your way out. Maybe I need a, uh, I don't know if it's gonna, I think I buried my basil. I'm gonna have to um, spray this down and hopefully move the sand off the basil. Oh, there's a basil right there. Little basil. I don't know if you can see that right there is basil. So I got basils, I got other stuff coming up in here. And um, lots and lots of stuff. This is actually um, crimson clover that I've planted. And as this grows up, I'm just going to, you know, just repair it and, and throw it around as ground cover. So lots of stuff coming up here. This is actually like a, a type of spinach coming up in here. So these are onions over here actually green these are like green onions and these were basically um, I planted like just a little I mean this is the tip right and they've already grown look at that so this is all store all store green onion that I've got all the way growing down there so and then um, lots of blueberries trees and other things here more more of the onion spread out around. Good de uh, deter for insects and things. I have a little. I want to add a bee. I need to like add a bee habitat here eventually. And uh, there's water. And there's a fig tree. This was <clears throat> slowly opening up here. As you can see, this was a branch that I cut off a year ago and stuck in the bee sanctuary and um, ultimately um, it took root so you can like anyone who cuts their trees and stuff just plant just stick most of it underground and you may be surprised it may take so this is actually a fruiting tree this is a cutting so this isn't from seed so hopefully 
we will get some figs on this in the next couple of years.